Good evening guys, this is Sumaya. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to understand work planes. As lighting designers, when we use dialogues, we use it to calculate lux levels and uniformity. And we make sure we comply with the lighting standards. In all this, a very important term to understand is a work plane because this, this will help you in making accurate lux calculations in Dialux Evo. What is a work plane? A work plane is an imaginary flat surface where we measure the light needed for the specific task. Okay, as the name itself suggests, work plane. Plane is nothing but an imaginary surface and work plane. So it's basically the word is self-explanatory. It is saying that where the work is performed, or the way the task is carried out that plane surface is called as work plane okay now take an example of tables desk dining tables kitchen islands any surface okay now each space there is a specific task performed like here we are considering an example of a desk and an example of a dining table on both the and the task is done on the table so the surface on the table is our work plane okay now now this this work plane can vary depending on which room you are okay let us understand this with the help of a project in dialogues evo so here i have considered a sample project of a hospital i have constructed few rooms and i have also named few rooms let us check one by one. So this is our acute treatment. Okay, so it's a treatment room. First thing is we'll go to individual room like we are here in the treatment room. Okay, second step is we will try to understand what is the task being performed in this room. Now, this is, this is a treatment room. So that means a patient is diagnosed by the doctor. Okay. So we understood the task. Third thing is we have to understand where the task is being performed. So in this treatment room, either we'll be having a patient bed or we'll be having a doctor's table. Okay. So these are the two spaces where the task is being performed. Right. Now next step is we will focus only on this task objects. Okay like a patient's bed and the doctor's table now both are at some height okay now by default in our lighting standards we consider 0 0.8 and in some countries 0 0.85 as the work plane height in middle east and india and neighboring countries we consider the work plane height to be 0 0.8 meters okay so we'll go to the calculation objects first we'll define the spaces there is a separate tutorial on my YouTube channel where I have explained in detail about spaces. Okay. Now I have already defined what type of space it is. We are focusing in this tutorial on only work plane. Okay. So I have this work plane. This yellow color imaginary plane is my work plane. When I click here, you get height and wall zone. Okay. By default, I'm using 0 0.8 meter. This is also because see at both my patient's bed and doctor's table is at certain height. That's the reason I'm considering the work plane height to be 0 0.8 meters. Wall zone, usually you go for 0 0.2 meters as wall zone. But here my project is hospital. Okay, and in hospital, we are not allowed to consider wall zones because you know, one of the very important requirement in hospital lighting. Okay, for now, in this project, I am not considering wall zone, but work plane height is 0 0.8 meters. Now, just to understand what is the wall zone, wall zone, suppose if I give 0 0.2 meters, see, it got reduced. Okay, that is basically wall zone is the distance distance of this work plane from your wall okay i have given it 0 0.2 meters here and this will be 0 0.2 meters but since my project is hospital i will keep no no wall zone clear let us repeat the steps with another room so now we'll go to 
say coordinator office okay in the coordinator office what was the what was our first step we will go to the individual room okay we are in individual room next step is we will understand what kind of task is being performed so in office so in office maybe you are working on your computer or maybe you are writing some files okay so next step where the task is being performed this is at the table so the work plane will be at the level of the table that means my work plane will be at the level of 0.8 meters okay here too since it's a hospital project i will consider the wall zone to be zero okay but if you're working on residential retail or any other proper office project you can keep the wall zone to be 0.2 clear now most of the rooms where you have your working working area to be like tables or beds then by default your work plane height will be 0.8 meters suppose suppose we are in corridor okay we are we are here in the corridor now here our first step is done we are in in the specific room okay our second step is understanding what is the task being performed so why is corridor used Corri corridors are used to commute from one room to another it is a place of transition where you just walk and or since it's a hospital maybe maybe you have wheelchairs patients on wheelchairs okay this is what the task is being performed in this room third is see there is no table chair or any other element in this room where the task is being performed the task here is being performed on the floor okay you are walking on the floor the patient trolley is on the floor that means my work plane is should be on the floor itself so what you will do calculation object create working plane for the surface and your work plane will be at zero level as per the lighting standards you can you, you can calculate up to the height of 0.2 for corridors but in middle east india and neighboring countries we keep we measure it at floor level that is zero okay then since again my project is a hospital project i'm keeping the wall zone to be zero okay i hope the steps in understanding the work plane is clear if you are a bit confused about what should be the height of your work plane first try to understand what is the task being performed and then understand where the task is being performed these are the two very important steps in defining the height of your work plane now in in the few rooms i discussed with you the work plane was either the tables or the floor there could be applications where the work plane is neither the table nor be the floor suppose you have a project of data hall data centers or labs then your work plane will be your vertical vertical surfaces okay because that is where the task is being performed i hope you have understood what is work plane and how to define the height of the work planes so this is it guys in this video if you found this video helpful please do hit a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more in dialogues with me thank you